let's solve this problem 3 9 in this problem it is said that a 54 kg crate rest on the 27 kg pickup tailgate right so this is the pickup tailgate which has a mass of 27 kg and this crate has a mass of 54 kg so it is said that calculate the tension t in each of the two restraining cables so these this cable is has a tension t right so we are asked to find that tension t and it is said that there are two such cables right one on this side and one on the other side right so and it says that the centers of gravity are at g1 and g2 right so these uh, center of gravity are center of mass of both the weights are given and it said that the crate is located midway between the two cables right so this the crate is located midway between these two cables one this cable and one on the other side right so if you want to draw the free body diagram so we will isolate this crate and that tailgate right so i will draw it i will draw the edges of this uh, crate and i will draw one another rectangle like this and we will isolate this right so let's say that the in this cable there is a tension in this direction right so now if we isolate this tailgate and this crate so we will get that free body diagram right so this is that free body diagram and here somewhere here is that g2 point and somewhere here is that g1 point right so if we draw the weights this will be the weight of the crate in this direction acting downward and the magnitude of this will be 54 times 9.81 right so i will write 54 into 9.81 newtons and similarly there will be a weight acting at this point as well right this that will be the weight of this tailgate acting somewhere here right so this weight is 27 into 9.81 newton and similarly there will be two tensions right so this this t and so two times t right so there are two cables and this is that point a this is that point o let me draw it so this is that point o right and at this point o there will be a re reaction force right and that reaction force will be acting in this direction right so let me draw that reaction that reaction will be in this direction right or we can show the components of this reaction so one component will be in this direction this component will be ox and this component will be oy right so if i draw it so this will be oy so we are asked to find this tension t in each cable right so if we apply the summation of moment at point o equals to zero right so if we apply the this condition of equilibrium right so since these two components are acting at point o so they will never produce any moment at point o right so we will be left with these forces right so as we can see that this g2 and let's say that this direction is negative the clockwise direction is negative right so this g2 is producing counterclockwise moment sorry this weight is producing counterclockwise moment about o so we will write plus 54 into 9.81 into the perpendicular distance so what is the perpendicular distance of this g2 from o so this distance this is 350 mm right so we will write 350 similarly this weight is producing counterclockwise moment so we will write plus 27 into 9.81 into perpendicular distance so this weight has a perpendicular distance of 240 mm from that point o so we will multiply this with 240 and similarly this uh, tension in the cable has two components right so one component in this direction if i draw it so one component is like this and there is one component in this direction so if we consider that this is theta right so then this one is the cos component right this is the along x and this is the sine component right 
so as we can see that this cost component the line of friction of this cost component is passing through this point o so it will never produce any moment about point o so only this sign component will produce the moment about that point o and the direction of that moment will be clockwise right so we will write minus and this component is 2t sin of theta right so we will write sin of theta let me write it here so if we consider this triangle a o b right so sin of theta sin of theta will be equal to perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so it will be o b divided by a b right so this is o b and this is a b so now we know we do not know this a b this hypotenuse right but we know this base this a o and this perpendicular right so we can find that a b so what will be that a b so if i find so this a b will be equal to this 300 mm squared plus this base square this a o so this base square is 240 plus 70 right so this is 310 so 310 squared and we will take the square root so this will give us a b length so this will be equal to 300 divided by this a b so this will be 300 square plus 310 squared square root so this is sin theta so let me find sin theta first so sin of theta comes out to be 0.695 right so now if we write so then this is the sin component so this will be 2t sin of theta and this is sin of theta so we will write 0.695 so this is 2t sin of theta and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point o is how much so this this 310 70 plus 240 so this is 310 right so this will be equal to 0 right so if if we write it so we are finding this t right so we will take everything on this on the other side of the equation right or we can write it like this as well so let me write it so this will be 2t three 310 and this will be equal to this thing so let me solve it first so this thing is equal to this value and if we divide this 248977.8 divided by this 2 into 0.695 into 310 so the tension comes out to be 577 newtons right so this is the solution of this problem